Hello family, this is Richard from Remarks from YouTube video on Remarks Farms. I'm a health professional, but then if you look at the unemployment rates that is going on in this country and over the, all over the world, it is very imperative and I thought it's very important that we all act another hobby that could pay us, that could be a means of passive income to us. It is with that motivation that I started Remat Farm. Remat Farm is a very small business. Uh, for now, we've cleared the, the land, about one acre land. And now we are here to start with the structures. And then we've already secured the prakira grass, the seeds that we'll be planting on the, on, the, on the ground. And then we are hoping that within six weeks to about two months, those grasses will be ready. And then, from there, we will be ready for our first tranche of the goats. So we will be starting with about 25 goats, 5 males, 20 females, and then we will be looking forward to um, about raising about 50 goats on one acre land. We will be doing zero grazing. So I just want to talk a little about zero grazing today and then probably encourage the fellow youths to start with their own projects, especially in goat farming and animal farming. So when we talk about zero grazing, we're talking about keeping the animals at one place in a confined environment, usually with, with a short or a very small piece of land, like a one acre, two acres. One thing about zero grazing is that we, or you, the farmer, will have to plan for their feed. It's very, very important that you plan for the feed. Otherwise, you are going to run out of feed. These animals can eat a lot. And so make sure you plan the feed. And make sure you are ready. So we are going to start planning, planting the feed. And then we, in the near future, are looking to purchase a lot more, about five, six acres of land to prepare adequately for the extra feed because we are hoping to expand and then host about 100 or more goods in the near future. And so when you're talking about zero grazing, it's very imperative and very important that you plan for the feed. So what kind of feed are available? So there are lots, depending on the area you are, there could be a lot of feed, goats feed on virtually everything that is grass. There are some though that are very poisonous to them. But they are, very able when they are feeding to do selective feeding and so they are able to pick from environments what they like and what and then they don't eat what they don't like but the very ones that are very helpful to these animals uh, are the chloris guyana um, we also have the brachyria grass i mentioned earlier now brachyria grass uh, has about 15 to 18 percent protein okay. and this has a very it's a very very high protein content for the animals okay. very very good you can get some brachyria grass if you're interested you can contact me and then we'll see how we can get some over to you also there is also alfalfa so there is also alfalfa seed that you can get in plant alfalfa has a much higher protein level sometimes even up to 20 percent of protein in it and so you can also get that the only problem with alfalfa is that the climate sometimes it doesn't do well in our climate okay. but brachyria once it germinates and then it starts spreading it can resist drought it's very good at resisting drought but in initial stages of planting the seed uh, it needs some showers of water and let some irrigation to be able to do well. We'll try and make another video expressly for how to plant Brachyria seed. And we'll cover a video when we are planting ours so that viewers and all the youths who are interested and any, any other group, age group, that are interested in planting the same seed will come over or will learn thing or two about planting Brachyria Viewers, this is where I leave you today and I hope to see you in the next, next episode.